today is the day that we are finally taking you along for a little tour of our renovated fifth wheel. Yes. It's only been a few months since we finished it. It's been a little bit. If you're new to our channel, I'm Mike and this is Ashley. We're both bloggers. We work from home and we travel around in our fifth wheel. We took this 2017 open range Roamer and completely gutted it, painted it, and renovated everything. We did a whole series in real time renovation when we were working on the fifth wheel and you can check that out. We have a ton of episodes on here taking you through all of the nitty gritty of ripping everything out and redoing it all. And now it's time to show you the finished product. We're gonna take you on inside and give you the full tour. So when you first walk in, we have cabinets here. This is where we keep our shoes and um, just like a kind of a drop zone, all of our keys. And then this is the switchboard. So all of our controls for the fifth wheel, the slides and everything is here. Then come on in. This is our main living area, the kitchen and dining room and office area are all one big area. So let's talk about the dining and living room here. We got this little table at Target, which is perfect. It has some drop leaves on each side, which is really nice for being really small when we want it to be small and then being a little bit bigger when we need some more space. We have the chairs that go with it. I hung up some curtains to be our shades on this back wall. And then we have the pull down shades on a lot of the other windows as well. We filled the living room with some cozy items, including this couch from Article. It's just a little love seat size, which fit perfectly in this space. We have um, some layered rugs on the floor and a poof, which is really nice in this space because we can move the poof around, use it as a footstool, Avery climbs on it. It's really great. Back here, we made this back section our two-person office since we both work from home. And so this is kind of usually how we have it set up. We kind of switch off and on who gets to use the big monitor depending on what projects we're working on online. Um, but we really love this desk setup so that we both have a workstation and then we have a ton of storage inside the desk as well. Over in the kitchen, we really changed up this space. This was kind of our main remodeling space. You can see in the before pictures that this used to be an entertainment center where there's a big TV and a fireplace. And then there was a little pantry in the middle. So we pretty much took all of that out and extended the kitchen to take up this entire slide, which we love. We don't regret not having a TV in here. The fireplace, not useful for us. Big kitchen is what we wanted. Mike built this custom pantry for us since we removed the existing pantry and we made it a little bit bigger. Um, and we used one of the doors, the door from Avery's room actually to add to this pantry. So you can see in here, he custom built all of the shelves to our liking. Um, we've got a couple shallow shelves and then we have our coffee shelf here, which is really nice. All of the shelves pull out and we fit our espresso machine here, some coffee cups. The rest of the pantry is a lot of our food items. We have some, you know, storage bags and things like that. And then down here is kind of a catch-all area with our bigger canisters, crock pot, things like that. In the rest of the kitchen, we've got brand new cabinets and countertops here. And then we worked with the existing island. So over here in the kitchen, we have our silverware drawer in here. We've got some dish towels. Um, some cleaner in here and then down here we keep some of our bowls and containers and whatnot. This is a pull-out trash can which makes such a big difference in an RV not having to find the space on the floor for the trash can and we love being able to just clean things right off the counter into the trash can. And then we ended up doing three really long, extra long drawers under the cooktop. So we have all of our cooking utensils and cutting boards things in here. This is where the majority of our plates and dishes go besides what's on the open shelving. And then we have all of our pots and pans fit into the bottom drawer. We replaced obviously the existing stove and oven and we don't use an oven at all because we got a convection microwave oven. Everything we need to bake 
works in this oven up here. And then it also works for microwave purposes when we need to use a microwave. So we love this two for one appliance. And then we did an induction cooktop here, which is really nice to have it flat so we can use it for extra counter space when we need it. But we actually have a lot of counter space in here, which is really great. Um, speaking of which, over here on the island, we did extend the island over just a little bit to make room for a dishwasher. So the dishwasher is a drawer style dishwasher. It just pulls down like this and then there's one little drawer inside which is perfect for our needs. Having a dishwasher was kind of a must have for us. Um, we've lived in an RV before without a dishwasher and the dishes just pile up, your sink gets full of them, it's a constant daily struggle and so being able to put the dishes right into the dishwasher really helps so we love the dishwasher that we added we don't regret that at all and then the rest of the island is um existing and we just painted it and put new hardware on it so we have a pull out drawer here with some extra kitchen appliances just the little small appliances like a blender and cheese grater our dish brush goes in this little pop out drawer and then next to it is our dish soap which is nice to not have out on the counter for travels and keeping things clean and minimal in here we have our junk drawer everyone needs a junk drawer even our beers Maybe some of you wouldn't agree with me on that one, but this is where we keep all of our extra things, batteries, tape, screwdrivers, the works. And in here is actually an extra cabinet we haven't done a lot with. We have paper towels in here right now, but I'd love to make convert this to where it's something that Avery can get to herself and keep all of her dishes in there so she can be practicing putting away her dishes and getting her own things out. We replaced the existing sink and put in this overmount sink white from Amazon. Um, love the big single basin, give us a little bit more room for washing pots and pans. And then of course added in the faucet as well. This is all from Amazon and we've been really happy with it. We also added one open shelf in the kitchen because I had to have some sort of open shelving in here. And I love this because I can do a little bit of decor here, but then we also have some functional things up here like the bowls and plates and cups that we use on a daily basis. As for the backsplash, we used faux brick paneling. It's just a wood MDF board that we got from Home Depot. We just glued it on the wall with construction adhesive and then painted it white. And I love the texture that it adds in here. And it's really easy to wipe down as well because we used a high gloss finish. Over here, we have our magnetic knife strip, which is really nice for keeping all of our knives out and ready to use. When we travel, obviously, we'll put those away in the drawer as well as everything else that's loose. We just put either in baskets or in the drawers so that it's secure for traveling down the road. To finish off the kitchen tour, we also um, replaced the existing fridge with our favorite Samsung fridge, the counter depth fridge. This gives us so much more room, has an ice maker in the freezer. We love the choice that we made here so that we can have a bigger fridge space. And then over here, we have a little bit more storage up here above Avery's room. This is kind of our catch-all extra storage. Um, we actually have more storage than we even use. We've got random things up here like extra mixing bowls, a box of wipes, you know, necessities. Over here, some extra cleaning things, uh, Kleenex, more wipes pretty much have more room if we needed to store more things, which is something that most RVers usually don't run into. So we're thankful for all the storage we have in this fifth wheel. Avery's room that we completely made over. This is kind of a versatile room. They had it set up as like a TV room with a couch before and then some cabinetry and stuff on the other side. A lot of people will also add bunk beds in the slide out. So what we did is we just made a little floor bed inside the pop out for Avery to access herself. And then we hung a couple of sconces on the wall for some extra lighting in here. She's also got some bookshelves on the wall where she keeps a couple of her favorite books. And then she has a little mirror for checking her hair and making sure she looks great for the day. 
<laughs> on the other side of her room, we made a little reading nook for her. She loves books, so she's got her bookshelf right next to her little reading nook, which she uses all the time. We have a couple of open shelves under her closet where we keep a select few toys out for her. And then the rest of her toys are stored in the loft up above her room, which I'll show you next. Up here is her closet, which is where all of her clothes are stored. And then we have a couple of extra shelves on top for some decor. And we also put her sound machine there at night when she's sleeping. To add some fun detail to her room, we added this shiplap wall that goes a little more than halfway up and then painted it white and then we added this pretty wallpaper on top from Urban Walls which I love that it has a little bit of a feminine touch but still kind of a neutral color for a little girl's room. Up here is where we keep a lot of our extra storage. This is a loft above the mid bunk room. Things like extra pillows, extra toys, all of our extra bags, extra games, all of our extras go in the loft. Further down the hallway, we have access to our bathroom right here. And there's also a door that goes into our bedroom from the bathroom. And then straight back is the master bedroom. bedroom we didn't do a whole lot of projects but we obviously painted everything white this is a king bed in here and then we added a little headboard in the back just using plywood and made a fun design a little semicircle here is our closet so we both share this closet and then we also have the dresser at the foot of the bed and then there's a couple drawers under the closet as well so on this side is Mike's side of the closet and a little bit of my side. I start encroaching on his face over here. We have a lot of space here to hang his shirts and then all of his little things are up here. This is where we keep our vacuum. I have a lot of these little cubbies and drawer organizers all over the RV but especially in the closets. This is just really nice to organize small things like socks. Um, a lot of Avery's clothes are organized in these and then just keeping everything organized inside of big drawers is really nice. And then over here is my side of the closet. I've got all of my clothes here and then I use this little cubby thing as well. I have a couple of more drawers under the closet here that have um, my out of season clothes and some extra big, bigger bulky items. At the foot of the bed, we have the dresser that was here previously. All we did was change out the top because the original top was really rounded and just took up a bunch of extra space. So Mike made a new top that's a lot more sleek and Ow. straight lines. <laughs> did you just bunk your head? <laughs> and then we added a ginormous TV above the window here because the bigger TV, the better, according to Mike. I have my hats hung here. Over here we hung up a little mirror and we have our laundry basket right next to our laundry room. We really loved this option to have a washer dryer inside of our RV. And so we went with a combo unit from Splendid. It's been working great. Uh, we did go with a vented option and I think that that makes a big difference with the dryer portion of the unit and we have no complaints. It's worked really great. 
on top. Mike built just this little countertop, which is really great for keeping extra baskets, which has all of our laundry soaps, and I have an extra shelf here. It's nice for any extra clothes that need some special treatments or folding. At the top of the laundry room, we added a bar for hanging clothes. A lot of my clothes hang dry, and so that was kind of a must for me. I love that we have space for that, and that was one of the reasons why we went with the combo unit instead of the stackable. And then instead of the door that originally came with this space, we took the door off and just added this curtain. From our bedroom, you can also access the bathroom with this slider door. So in here, we made just a couple of small changes to make this more functional for us. So let me show you around. Over here, we took out the existing shelves and cabinets and added these open shelves. That way it gave us a little bit more flexibility and then we could add whatever we wanted. So I filled it with some pretty baskets. We keep our towels folded here, the lidded basket at the bottom where we keep all of Avery's bath toys and things. We then have our shower, which we didn't do much with the shower. We kept it all pretty original with the shower door even, and then we just hung this curtain to soften it up a bit. Above the toilet, we added an open shelf here where we keep some extra toilet paper and Q-tips. The biggest change in the bathroom we made is the vanity and sink area. We took out the whole bottom cabinet and added this open shelf vessel sink. And then we have a little stool down here for Avery to access so that she can brush her teeth. In order to make the medicine cabinet just a little bit prettier, but still functional, we added this wood mirror that we got from Walmart. And we just put a little hinge on it. Obviously need some WD-40 there. <laughs> and then we were able to still use all of the storage space, which is really nice, but then it's just a little bit prettier. <laughs> We have an over-the-door towel rack here where we hang our towels and then the store leads you right back out to the main room. We hope you guys enjoyed the tour of our little tiny home. We love how it turned out even though it was a lot of blood, sweat, and tears at some points. It was a lot of work, but it's been worth it. Make sure and check out the renovation series to see the nitty gritty of how we did it in the real time when we were working on it. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that like button. For more videos of our little family on the road living in an RV, make sure you subscribe. Okay, say bye-bye. Bye. Can you say bye-bye? Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye. bye.